In this problem, we are being asked to find the coordinates of rectangle ABCD if it is reflected across the x-axis. Well, when doing a reflection across the x-axis, what will happen is all of the original points will retain their original x values and the y values will become opposite of what they are. So the first thing that we're going to do is just record the original points. And point A is located at positive 3, positive 6. Point B is located at positive 3, 0. Point C is located at positive 7, 0. And point D is located at positive 7, positive 6. Now the next thing that we want to do is keep all of the x values the same. So for point A, this 3 is going to be the same and make all of the y values opposite. So the opposite of positive 6 is negative 6. So for B, the transformed point is going to be 3 and the opposite of 0 is actually itself, it is 0. And for C, the point is going to be 7 and 0. And for D, the new location will be positive 7 and negative 6. Now that we have our new coordinates, let's plot them on the coordinate plane. So we have to plot the new point A at 3, negative 6. And let's make sure to label this A. B is located at 3, 0. Notice that it did not move from its original spot because it is right on the x-axis. And for C, that's going to be right here. That point did not move as well because it is also on the x-axis. And point D is 7, negative 6, which is right here. And the next thing that we have to do is connect our points together to form our shape. And this is the reflected rectangle across the x-axis. And these are the coordinates right here that represent the new location of our rectangle. So remember, when reflecting across the x-axis, just keep all of the x values exactly as they are and make all of the y values opposite.